Hmm, not a very good situation for a tactical shotgun. So, I've got a really easy project today. I'm going to be installing a new shotgun plug in one of my shotguns in this one Tigris shell holder for my tactical shotgun. I had been playing musical shotgun plugs for about three years now. Ever since I started using my uh, tactical shotgun for a little bit of turkey hunting. So this is my regular turkey gun. It's a Remington 870 Super Express Magnum. Jack and make sure she's not loaded. And this is another Remington 870, the uh, police model, short barreled, 12 gauge. I duracoated this gun about five or six years ago. I intended on using it for uh, coyotes, but it's kind of become my go-to turkey gun. The problem is this being a short barreled law enforcement gun, I don't believe it came with a plug and you have to have the plug in there or the shell limiter in order to legally hunt. So what I've been doing is taking the plug out of this shotgun every year, putting it into this shotgun when I go turkey hunting, and then I gotta take it out of this shotgun and put it back in this shotgun. Because after turkey season, this gun pretty much does duty as a home defense gun. I also keep it really handy in case we get a cougar in the backyard. So I went ahead and ordered this Butler Creek shotgun plug right off Amazon for $3.99, and it should fit both of these guns. So this one we checked, it's already unloaded. This one I know is loaded because I keep it loaded in the house. So let's just roll these out one at a time. Okay, so I had four rounds in there. I'm sure it's empty. So I had two Remington high base number four shot and two double lot buck Winchester. This is the round I like to use first in the gun. Number four bird shot. This stuff at close range is devastating. And it's not gonna be nearly as dangerous in this urban environment as this double lot buck round would. So first things first, let's get the Butler Creek shotgun plug out. It should be the exact length and configuration as the green Remington that I'm going to find in this gun right here. Now I'm going to undo the top sling swivel so I can turn the turret cap without any interference. Let's take that off. And now I got to get a screwdriver. And I should be able to put this flat blade screwdriver in here, depress this, turn it about a quarter of a turn, but I want to hold on to it because there's a spring in there. And there we go. And there is no limiter in there. The plug is not in there. So I must have already taken it out Okay, that's interesting. See, that's why I called it musical shotgun shell plugs because I literally can't remember where the damn things go from one season to the next. Okay, this one here. No shell limiter in that one. So what I did was, I must have taken it out of here, put it into this gun here, and at some point I took the green Remington shell plug and it went wherever. Well, let's go ahead and install the shell limiter in my turkey gun. And it's just gonna stay here. 
Okay. Now let's take the little 870 police. Put a couple of shells in it. Huh. Yep. Okay, except for the fact that we still have a shotgun plug missing. Both guns are right where I want them. All right, let's get this one Tigris shell holder on and then put all this stuff away. Put it down here. What do we got? We have some number four shot, high base number four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six of those. And I got some low base. And the rest is buckshot. So One Tigris is a pretty cool company. They make tactical gear, camping and hiking, outdoor gear. Here it is. I'll take it out in the sunlight a little bit here. Love the color. Matches my gun perfectly. Heavy duty Velcro on both straps here. It's a straightforward design. It holds seven extra shells. And I'm gonna want that on the right side of the stock. Oh, it actually goes in the butt stock over here on this end. That's cool. This is gonna this is gonna be way more secure than those uh, Uncle Mike shell holders. Okay, so going on. Hopefully it'll clear or won't need to go past my molded in sling swivel there. Mm, I like that. This one here. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed up. Actually need to put it on the front first. There we go. I'll get this one around here. Oh yeah, that, I like that. Perfectly fit. I mean, that thing wraps around there and it fits absolutely perfectly, like it was made for an 870 Remington stock. Oh, that's a three inch there. Here, it's throwing off my stuff. I don't need three inch magnums. Okay. So I have seven rounds on the stock of the gun over here on my right side where I can quickly strip them out and I'll have five more in the gun. So if I need a first line of defense gun, I just literally grab this by the sling, put it over my shoulder, run out the door and we're in business. I urge you to check out One Tigress. They make some really high quality stuff and I can't tell you how happy I am with this shell holder.